Hey everybody, it's Tyler here checking out the Chicago Robotics Invitational with team number 9879. Route negative one coming in from Springdale, Arkansas. Phenomenal season this team has had, both this year and in the past as well too, but let's talk about this year. Uh, Arkansas won that in person, which was awesome. And then Alabama, uh, remote champions, and then also Inspire Award winners as well too. And here to talk to me about this robot is gonna be Cray and Ramey. And just look at this awesome machine. We're gonna be talking about, of course, the uh, underbelly intake coming up in and through. Awesome shooter, great aesthetic design, all this and more coming up on Behind the Bot. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or a career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. If your team or organization is hosting an off-season event, digitally you can stream it right here on First Updates Now for free. Events that stream on First Updates Now receive an additional 25 to 100% additional viewership because we help you promote your event on a large platform. If you're interested, reach out to us on any of our social platforms, on Discord, or send us an email at admin at firstupdatesnow.com. Let's get your off-season event streaming on First Updates Now. Hurry, dates are booking fast, and we take first come, first serve for all our events. So, Cray, start me off with this uh, intake here. Uh, a couple of unique things that go into this. So talk to me about some of the design and uh, just really what went into this robot here. Yeah, so uh, the intake starts with this front bar that leads the ring into the rest of our intake. The rest of our intake starts with this other bar that actually ro rotates in the opposite direction, and that allows rings to come in really fast and just go up the ramp. We don't have to worry about it catching the start of the ramp. Once it goes in, we actually just follow this conveyor up into our hopper where they rest and then we can shoot them. So how did you come up with the, with the extra bar down there that kind of rotates the opposite direction? Like what was some of the thought process behind that? So we had a lot of issues with getting rings from the ground just into our robot. Sure. And uh, we tried to mess with this front bar and we decided that it would actually make everything a lot easier if we just knew the rings would be pushed up into our intake. So we just added an extra bar and it's made everything really fast. Makes sense. Can we see a couple of rings actually come through and we'll kind of see how that ring uh, follows through on there. I'm interested to see. Oh, well, oh. well. So when you were looking at from this so. coming in here, um, you know, the ring comes up and it does that extra turn and flops and stuff like that. So you could shoot out the same way. Why was it important for you to shoot the same way that you could intake as well? Uh, we really thought about our auto routes. Yeah. And uh, we knew we wanted a shooter that we could shoot pretty far away. And adding that to our route, we knew that we wanted to shoot our rings and then pick up the stack. And having it on the same side allowed us to do that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, talking about your shooter uh, a little bit, uh, you know, you got the one run flywheel, some extra weight going on. Uh, and then I'm interested to hear about, um, you know, for some things we see the compression bar on this side go a little bit further out. Your seems to stop a little bit shorter than what I've seen from other teams. Talk to me about that. So for this bar, uh, we actually, we wanted to make a pretty, uh, if you notice, a lot of teams shoot like a little to the side yeah. one way or the other. And with a really long bar, we noticed that that was happening. And so we just slowly cut it down until we liked the path of the ring and we just kept it there. Yeah. And, and Remy, can you talk to me a little bit more about uh, uh, on this flywheel here, like you, you just have uh, the one motor for it. So do you leave that spinning the whole match or how yeah. long does it take for it so, to spin back up? That sort of yes. thing. So we start it spinning at the beginning of the match, but in order to ensure it stays spinning the entire match, we actually d implemented PDI PIDF, yeah. which keeps the motor at the same speed throughout the entire match. And if we can change it, we can also do that throughout the match. And it also, we have a trigger here to push it into the uh, flywheel and then the motor doesn't spin down because of that PDI, PIDF. Uh, yeah. I want to focus a little bit uh, on the other side here. So you, we have the wobble goal mechanism which we'll talk about briefly but come around the other side let's take a look and check check this out. Yeah. Oh okay very interesting. Yeah. So yeah tell me about this side first and we'll go to the other side. Yeah so uh, we have these hooks on the side of our robot because during autonomous uh, we wanted to be able to drop the wobble goals uh, without using our in-game hook claw. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> so we just put the wobble goal in it, and then during autonomous, we can just let go, and it drops it. 
And then during in-game, we use this other claw that can come down and open up and pick up the wobble goals. And we also have the same hook on the other side of the robot, if you want to. So, so that we can do this no matter what side of the field we're on, I see. on or no matter what line we're on. That makes sense. Talk to me a little about the aesthetic of your robot here. Um, you know, going the, the, the pure white on uh, something like this, very clean look that your team has. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, was that something that was really a forethought for you? Like, hey, we want to have a nice, clean aesthetic as well? So, yes, actually, in the past, this is our third year powder coating our robot white. And it's just become like a staple for our team. And we really want our robot to look nice while also being functional. And it was just like a one of our requirements at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Well, Root Negative One, obviously a phenomenal season here so far. Looking for big things here at the Chicago Robox Invitation as well. Uh, so good luck at this event. Can't wait to see how your robot does. Thanks a lot for taking the yep. time. Thank you. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with the company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the Join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.